Hey everybody, it's me Gambit 896 and I'm back with another vlog video and some trades I've just picked up recently for you guys. Um, first and foremost, I want to just talk about some comic news and then a comic book movie. A um, little bit of news I want to share with you guys. Uh, first and foremost, I'm a bit annoyed and a bit sad about something. Um, Travis of Oddfellows Thoughts recently covered this um, just yesterday in his latest uh, episode of uh, What the Fugue um, and that is the fact that DC have just announced that they're cancelling um, one of their best Vertigo titles in my opinion although I don't own all of the um, all of the trades of the or the collections of the series but they're going to be cancelling the Vertigo series John Constantine Hellblazer with issue 300 um, if you guys are interested, I'll put a link to an interview below in the description uh, of an interview with Dan Didio and um, Robert Venditti. Uh, you might know this guy from writing The Surrogates. I know um, Agent 42Q really enjoys that book. Um, he's also writing the um, just recently uh, revitalized um, Exo Manor War, which is one of the Valiant books. Um, so they're going to be cancelling the John Constantine Hellblazer series over at Vertigo. They're then going to be, for lack of a better word, rebooting it in March of 2013. And Robert Venditti will be writing the series. It's going to be called Constantine. And it'll be set within the regular, more darker, recently rebooted, um, normal DC universe. Um, I really don't know how I feel about it. But I've heard nothing but great things about the surrogates and Exo Man of War. So here's hoping that... Uh, Venditti will treat John Constantine with the same level of respect and um, and um, give the fans of the John Constantine Hellblazer series what they're looking for, essentially. Um, I know Travis of Oddfellow's Thoughts, like I said, he's really, really cheesed off about it um, because he's been reading Hellblazer, I think he said, for about 25 years. So, um, yeah, I'm really annoyed about it myself. I know... Uh, Dragonheart, um, yeah, Dragonheart collects the series as well. Um, don't know the guy's um, Christian name, unfortunately, but um, if you're interested, I definitely recommend you check out um, Oddfellows Thoughts and Dragonheart. I'll put a link to their channels in the description and their latest videos. Um, so there'll be a link to, to Oddfellows Thoughts and Travel's latest um, What the Fugue video and Dragonheart, um, his channel as well. And he's just done a uh, uh, kind of a long box sh uh, showcase of all of his Animal Man um, issues from the old DC Universe before the New 52 reboot. Um, so I'll put a link to those channels and those videos in the description. Um, like I said, along with a link to an interview with Dan Didio and Robert Venditti on, uh, on the cancellation and the reboot, essentially, of John Constantine. Um, also, Robert Venditti will be taking over the writing of the DC New 52 series Demon Knights when I believe Paul Cornell, the current writer, will be leaving the title with issue 16. So then Robert Venditti will be taking over that, um, which could be interesting. I know a lot of people have dropped uh, Demon Knights, um, but I might pick up the series as it sounds really interesting. And if nothing else, uh, the art by the gentleman... I can't pronounce his name, but I'll get onto the guy in a second. His art just looks fantastic from the previews I've seen. Um, also, uh, Chris Pacello confirmed uh, yesterday that there will be a new Uncanny X-Men series with the Marvel Now reboot. It'll be written by Brian Michael Bendis and illustrated by Chris Pacello. Some of you may know Pacello from his um, work on the X-Men back in the 80s or 90s, I want to say. And more recently with his uh, work on Jason Aaron's Wolverine and the X-Men series. Which, if you haven't read Wolverine and the X-Men, go and read it. It's a really great, really fun series. Um, so he'll be doing the, the artwork on that. I'll put a link in the description to an interview with Pacello about the series. Uh, the team apparently will consist of Cyclops, Magneto, Magic, and Emma Frost. And this will be dealing with the team after the fallout of the Avengers vs. X-Men uh, 12 issue maxi series um, that just ended recently with issue 12 uh, which Jason Aaron wrote the finale for um, 
Gambit series writer James Asmus has shed some light on the next story arc. It, this will have Gambit forced into a heist in England and he'll come under the scope and become a target of the intelligence service MI13 and also the regular artist of Demon Knights, um, you'll have to forgive me because I can't pronounce this guy's name, um, D-I-O-G-E-N-E-S-N-E-D-E-S -E -E um, will be doing the artwork for the next story arc of Gambit. And finally, for the mus for the uh, comic book movie news, um, I believe this guy is either a writer and a director, or could be both. I haven't seen any of his movies. I know, shame on me. Uh, Guillermo del Toro is discussing a Justice League Dark style uh, movie, which could be really interesting, I think, um, as I've heard nothing but great things about uh, a Justice League Dark title, as I've just done a review of the first trade of that series, and I've heard nothing but great things about it since uh, Jeff Lemire took over the writing with issue 9, um, so I'll put a link to my review of the first trade in the description. Um, briefly touching back upon the John Constantine Hellblazer cancellation, admittedly I don't own all of the trades or collections of the series, but I'm aiming to pick up the new editions that uh, Vertigo were releasing. Um, I do have the first new edition of the first trade, which is uh, Jamie Delano's John Constantine Hellblazer, Original Sins. If there's any of you out there who haven't seen my review of this, I'll put a link in the description to this review. I know that uh, the next three story arcs in Jamie Delano's run, The Devil You Know and The Fear Machine are out already with their new editions of their collections or trades and the final um, collection of his run, The Family Man, is due to come out uh, November the 14th, I believe. Uh, I'll put an annotation in if I get the date wrong, um, but anyway. Um, so that's John Constantine Hellblazer, There Is No Sins. As you can see there, it's published by Vertigo, and they've just recently started numbering the trades, so people know where to start reading. Um, it's a bit sporadic in what I own of the John Constantine Hellblazer series, as unfortunately um, a large bulk of them are out of print, unfortunately. Um, so here's the first volume of Garth Ennis' run which is uh, Dangerous Habits. If you haven't seen my review of this, I'll also put a link in the description to this review. I also own the next story arc in Garth Ennis' run, Fear and Loathing, as you can see there. I'm missing the next one, which is Tainted Love, but I do have the story arc that follows on from that, uh, Damnation's Flame, as you can see there. Um, and I'm also missing the final story arc of this complete overarching story arc of Rake at the Gates of Hell, as unfortunately that um, uh, that collection's out of print as well. But here's hoping that they'll uh, keep on reprinting um, all of the series and bringing out new editions of the trades. And finally, I also have uh, the first volume of Mark, Mark, uh, Mike Carey's run, which is a red, you'll have to forgive me because I can't pronounce this properly, S E P U R. S E P U L C H R E Sep Yul Shur. It's a mystical, magical object. So it's got a funny name. You should know me by now if you've seen my reviews and my videos. I sometimes have trouble with names. I'm sorry. I do apologize. Um, anyway, on to the um, trades that I picked up recently over the past few weeks. Um, first and foremost is a Batman story that is considered one of the most influential Batman stories ever written. It's just recently been adapted into a DC Universe animated movie, and I want to give a shout out to um, Howler Mouse, who did a review of the first part of this um, animated movie, the first DVD release. It is, of course, Frank Miller's Batman The Dark Knight Returns. This is both written and illustrated by Frank Miller, with Klaus Jensen doing the inks. Um, so I'll put a link to. Uh, there's been a lot of links in the description. Um, so, there'll be a link to Oddfellow's Thoughts channel and his most recent um, What the Fugue episode video. There'll be a link to Dragonheart's channel and his latest uh, video, which is a showcasing of his uh, individual issues of the Before the New 52 reboot um, series of Animal Man. And there'll also be a link to Howler Mouse's channel and I'll put a link to his review of the first part of the DC Universe animated movie of Frank Miller's Batman The Dark Knight Returns. 
So I'm really, really looking forward to reading this. As considered, like I said, one of the most influential Batman stories ever written. Next up, I have a series, um, or two trades of a series, that uh, a fellow YouTuber and a good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Fixit Smash, or Ben, um, is a big fan of. And I'm, of course, talking about American Vampire. This is Volume 2, which is written by Scott Snyder, with, with art by Raphael Albuquerque. And we also have a fill-in artist, I believe, uh, Matthias, let forgive me because I can't pronounce this guy's name properly, Santa Loco. S-A-N-T-O-L-O-U-C-O -O -O. Um, This collects issues 6 through 11 of the main American Vampire series. Next up I have volume 3 which collects issues 12 through 18 of the main American Vampire series which is again written by Scott Snyder with Raphael Albuquerque back on the artwork. And we also have the 5 issue mini series Survival of the Fittest which is again illustrated which is again written by Scott Snyder, but is illustrated by Sean Murphy, the same gentleman who's currently uh, writing his uh, six-issue limited series over at Vertigo, which is Punk Rock Jesus. I know uh, Minutia Minute and Sleepy Reader 666 both really enjoy that series, um, which I believe will be wrapping up soon with its final issue. Um, I've done a review of the first trade of American Vampire, which is, like I said, written by Scott Snyder, uh, Stephen King and is illustrated uh, illustrated ugh, by Raphael Albuquerque. So if you guys haven't seen this review video, I'll put a link to uh, this review in the description as well. So if you just click the click the uh, show more in the description, all the links will be there to everything I've mentioned. I don't want to go back over it again because I don't want to bore you guys. So um, that was my um, vlog and. Uh, new trade pickups video for you guys as always I hope you enjoyed the video if you did give the video a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down as always feel free to leave me some comments below in the comment section and if you're new to my channel and you'd like to see more please feel free to click the subscribe button and as always this is Scambit896 signing off and I'll see you guys later take care guys